Okay, so we've covered everything from database services to generic storage services, and we still have one more category in data service to cover, which are big data solutions. And it helps to just understand, well, what is a big data solution to begin with? And I think this diagram from Microsoft really sums it up you know, very, very well. To begin with, we have data that needs to be ingested. This could come from all sorts of sources. This could be images, CRM tools, line of business applications, IoT that we talked about in the IoT section, and then ultimately gets ingested, and that could be through some data orchestration and monitoring. You know, Microsoft has a tool called Azure Data Factory. There's other tools that are available you know, in the market as well, but ultimately they're ingesting that data in and then storing it somewhere in a big data store, basically. Once it's in that big data store, uh, then we can use things like Hadoop, Spark, machine learning algorithms uh, to prepare and train the data. And then when the data is ready for complex analysis, things like SQL Data Warehouse, use Polybase, which is a tool under the covers, to query the big data stores. Uh, and then Polybase uses standard, what they call T-SQL queries, to bring the data into SQL data warehouse and ultimately all of this is to provide some you know apps and insights you know on top of that data uh, to give some meaning to it and help the business make good decisions based on that data or use it you know for other other purposes that they need it for um, but ultimately let's look at the different services available well to begin with we have the sql data warehouse this is a key component of the big data solution you know this is a cloud-based enterprise data warehouse edw that you might hear about and it uses massive parallel processing so it can run complex queries across petabytes of data so think lots and lots of data here it stores data in relational tables reducing storage costs and improves performance then we've got hd insight so if we look at HD Insight, this is fully managed open source analytics services, you know, for the enterprises. And it uses the most popular frameworks like Hadoop, Spark, Hive, etc. So some customers might say deploy Hadoop on premises or may deploy it in the cloud on top of virtual machines. Uh, this is essentially a service that's created for you um, to kind of take away some of the pain of setting that up yourself. It has some good scenarios. So we have batch processing. So this is the extract transform and load process also known as etl so etl stands for extract transform and load uh, and this is a process where unstructured or structured data is extracted from all those heterogeneous data sources it's then transformed into a structured format and loaded into the data store and you can use the transform data for data science or data warehousing uh, if we look at data warehousing this is where you can use hd insight to perform queries at petabyte scales over that structured or unstructured data in any format. You can also build models, connecting them to BI tools such as Power BI. Then we have Data Lake Analytics, and this is an on-demand analytics job service that simplifies big data. Instead of deploying, configuring, and you know tuning all the hardware, uh, you pay only for your job when it is running and you write queries to transform your data and extract insights. You basically write those queries yourself, and then you pay on demand when they, they run and execute. And so that, in a nutshell, are the core big data services that you'll need to know about. I'd say the big thing here is just understand that ETL is extract, transform, and load, and then understand the different services available here and where they might fit. And so there is this kind of which service chart Put together it'll be available in the slides that accompany the course and it basically says you know if you want x this is the service to use uh, so if you're looking for that elastic data warehouse with security you know fully managed sql data warehouse if you're looking for fully managed hadoop and spark service that's hd insight if you're looking for something to automate data movements that's data factory etc etc this is a good guide to just guide you through which service you might want to use